third grade math lesson 10.2, we're going to talk about the difference of AM and PM and how to use them when telling time. AM is the abbreviation for the Latin anti-meridium. It represents the hours and minutes from 12 o'clock at night to 11.59 in the morning. So it goes from midnight right here, and you would still be sleeping here, and then this would be 6 in the morning, 6 a.m., and this would be 12 noon when you eat lunch. So it goes from the middle of the night and the morning to right before lunch. That's a.m. P.M. is the abbreviation for the Latin post-meridium. See the P.M. here, post-meridium? It represents the hours and minutes from 12 o'clock at lunchtime, that's noon, to 11.59 at night. We go from 12 o'clock noon when you eat lunch. This would be about dinner time in the evening. And then it's dark out and it goes to midnight at 12 a.m. So it's from afternoon and nighttime. There are 24 hours in each day. This means the hour hand will go around two full times for each day. So it would have to go all the way around once, that's 12 hours, and all the way around again to be 24 hours for the day. And 12 plus 12 is equal to 24. And the first 12 hours are the AM hours. The second 12 hours are the PM hours. And we may see AM and PM written as different ways. We might see just capital AM and capital PM with no periods. We might see lowercase with periods AM and PM. We might even see lowercase with no periods. Or you might even see small capitals. But each way is acceptable to use. Let's see if we can circle the correct answer in the box. It says Bill goes to school at 8 in the morning. So if it's in the morning, do you know if it's AM or PM? He goes to school at... If you answered 8 a.m. for the morning, you're right. Tala eats dinner at 6 in the evening. She eats dinner at, is it 6 a.m. or 6 p.m.? Do you remember which one means evening or nighttime? If you said 6 p.m., you're correct. Emma's chess club meets after school at 3.30. Her chess club meets at, is it 3.30 a.m. or 3.30 p.m.? Think about, it's after school, so it would be afternoon, wouldn't it? If you said 3.30 p.m., you're right. Things that we do after school would be in the p.m. Here we have a very long number line that represents one entire day. It starts at midnight in the middle of the night. It goes to the morning where the sun's coming up. See, that's when you would wake up for school. It goes to noon for lunchtime, then after noon time. Evening when you would have dinner and now the sun's going down and you would have your bedtime and it would be nighttime again. And we go back to midnight and we would start all over again. See? And this is the a.m., that's the first 12 hours of the day. And here's p.m., that's the second 12 hours of the day, the second time the hour hand goes around the clock. So we can imagine the numbers on a clock face as a number line that makes a circle. So imagine if we split this open and stretched it out and just made a long number line. Or we took this number line and wrapped it into a circle to make the clock face numbers. We can sort these activities and put them under AM or PM where they belong. So what about going to school? When you go to school, do you think it's AM or PM? So remember, AM is like early morning and PM is after lunch. Well, if you said AM, you're right. What about going to bed? Would we go to bed in the a.m. or p.m.? 
If you said p.m., you're right, because we go to bed at night. And there are some people who work at night, so they switch it around and they go to bed in the morning. But we're trying to do typical hours. What about going home from school? Would you go home in the a.m. or p.m.? If you said p.m., you're right. We go home in the afternoon after lunch, don't we? And p.m. is after lunch and evening. How about waking up? When you wake up, you wake up in the morning. So which one would be morning, a.m. or p.m.? If you said a.m., you're right. How about brushing your teeth? Now, this is a trick one. Do you know why it's a trick one? Because you should brush your teeth in the morning and we should brush our teeth at night. So that's both, isn't it? What about eating breakfast? Is that a.m. or p.m.? If you said a.m., you're right. For most people, they eat breakfast in the morning. What about eating dinner? Would we eat dinner in the a.m. or p.m.? If you said p.m., you're right. We eat dinner in the evening, don't we? Most people do. We need to write the correct time using a.m. or p.m. It says Emma rode her bicycle. We can see the hour hand is pointing to the 1, and the minute hand is pointing to the 12, so that would be 1 o'clock, wouldn't it? We write a 1, the two dots, and a 0, 0. But is it a.m. or p.m.? Well, if this was a.m., it would be 1 o'clock in the morning. It would be just past midnight. And I don't think Emma would be out after midnight riding her bike. So this must be the afternoon. It must be p.m. It says Tim mowed the lawn at, we see the hour hand is in between the two and the three, so that means it's not three yet, it's still two. And the minute hand is pointing to the, we start at zero here and skip count by fives, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and we count on by ones, 31, 32. So it's 2.32. But is it a.m. or p.m.? Would Tim mow the lawn at 2.32 in the morning? No, that would be too early. He would probably still be sleeping. So this must be p.m. He must have done it in the afternoon, right? So that's 2.32 p.m. And try some more. We need to write the correct time using a.m. or p.m. It says Tala went to her science class at. We need to find the time. And look at the hour hand. It's in between the 10 and the 11. So it's not 11 yet. It's still in the 10s. And we see the minute hand is pointing to the 6. We can skip count by 5 starting up here at 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the time is 10.30. But is it a.m. or p.m.? Do you think she went to her science class at 10.30 in the morning or 10.30 at night? I would think it would be 10.30 in the morning because at 10.30 at night, she's probably in bed already, right? So that would be 10.30 a.m. It says Bob got ready for bed at, and we're seeing the hour hand at 8 and the minute hand at, we start at 0, 5, 10, 15. So the time is 8, 15. But is it a.m. or p.m.? If he got ready for bed, that means he's going to go to sleep. And he wouldn't go to sleep at 8 o'clock in the morning, 8, 15 in the morning, so it must be p.m. It's 8, 15 p.m. Emma's teacher took morning attendance at... Oh, look, it's, the hands are in the same place. So we know this is 8.15, but is it a.m. or p.m.? It says she took morning attendance. That's our clue. And we know that for morning, we use a.m. So that would be 8.15 a.m. If something happens after midnight, 
and before noon, we use a.m. If something happens after noon and before midnight, we use p.m. A.m. is early morning and it's still dark out, or a.m. could be morning and the sun is rising. P.m. is the afternoon or the evening sun is going down, or it can be nighttime and dark out. We need to write the correct time using a.m. or p.m. It says half past seven in the morning. We need to write the time in a.m. or p.m. What would be half past seven? We're still in the sevens, so we know the hour would be seven. Half past means it's halfway around the clock. So that would be a half hour, and that would be 30 minutes. That's 7.30 a.m. because it's morning. So our clock would look like this, our analog clock. It would be in between the seven and eight for the hour hand and it would be pointing to the six for the minute hand for half past seven. This one says five minutes to nine at night. So it's not nine yet, but it's five minutes before nine and it's nighttime. If it's five minutes to nine and it's not nine yet, we know the hour is eight. We also know that there are 60 minutes to an hour. If we take five of those minutes away, we would be at 55. So our time would be 8.55. It says it's at night, so we know it would be 8.55 p.m. And our clock would look like this. It's not quite at the nine yet, so it's still in the eights. And five minutes to nine would be the minute hand on the 11 like this. This one says a quarter after six in the evening. We know the hour is six. We know that the clock face can be split into four quarters, one, two, three, four. So if it's a quarter after, it's right here, pointing to the three. And that would be five, 10, 15 minutes. And the clock would look like this. It would be a little bit past the six for the hour, and the minute hand would be pointing to the three. And it says in the evening. So do you think this is a.m. or p.m.? If you said p.m., you're right. It would be 15 p.m. This one says a quarter to eight in the morning. So if it's to eight, then it's not eight yet. So do you know what the hour would be? The hour would be seven still. And we remember that a clock face can be split into four quarters. So a quarter to the minute hand would be pointing to the nine. That would be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes. The hour hand would be almost at the eight the minute hand would be on the nine. Would that be a.m. or p.m.? It says it's a quarter to eight in the morning. So if you said a.m., you're right. It would be 7.45 a.m. Write the correct times using a.m. and p.m. So they began to eat lunch at 20 minutes before noon. Noon is 12 o'clock. That means they began to eat 20 minutes before that. So it wasn't 12 o'clock yet. It must have still been 11. But it was 20 minutes before noon. So we need to figure out what time the minutes were at. Going counterclockwise, starting at 12, we can count back 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes that would be 20 more minutes until the o'clock, until noon, and we would see that the minute hand is pointing on the eight. That's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So that would be 1140. Would that be a.m. or p.m.? It's before noon, so that means it's still morning. If you said a.m., you're right. They finished eating at 
half past noon. So if it's half past noon and noon is 12, we know the hour is 12. Half past 12 means the minute hand went halfway around the clock. That means it must be pointing to the six. That means it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It must be 1230. Is it a.m. or p.m.? Do you know? It's after 12 o'clock noon, so the hour hand is starting its second time around the clock face, so it must be p.m. If you said 12.30 p.m., you're right. So we know they began to eat their lunch at 11.40 a.m. and they finished eating at 12.30 p.m. So how many minutes did it take them to eat their lunch? We started the location of the minute hand for when they started eating, it was pointing to the eight, wasn't it? And it was 11.40 a.m. And we skip count by fives until we get to the six down here. We count from this minute hand where they started eating and we count by fives all the way around until it gets to that six. So we count five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It took Emma and her sister 50 minutes to eat their lunch. When the minute hand got to the six, it represented the 30 for 1230. And we started from where the minute hand was when they started eating at 1140 and just skip counted each number by fives until we got to where the minute hand was when they finished eating. And we're going to talk about this more in the next lesson. We're going to talk about elapsed time. That means time that passed and went by. So just remember, when it's a.m., it's morning, and when it's p.m., it's after noon, it's after lunchtime going into nighttime. I hope you have a really good day, and I'll see you next time. Keep trying. I'm proud of you. Bye.